A day after the tax filing deadline, lawmakers are working to lower the state income tax in Wisconsin, but there's a debate right now over how to get that done, as political reporter Will Keneally explains. Will? That's right. So we're looking at two competing tax plans, one from the state assembly, one from the state senate, both with the goal of returning the state surplus back to taxpayers. Yeah, I think everybody agrees we are overtaxing. Wisconsin right now has $7 billion more than it was expecting to take in. That's the surplus. And Republicans say that's a sign of overtaxing. They want to give that back to taxpayers. From a purely economic standpoint, you want to tax wealth creation less. So that would be income tax and property. There are two competing plans in the state legislature. One from Representative John Mako, which would create two tax brackets. One at 4.5%. The lowest bracket would pay no income tax. That was introduced this week, but still needs some buy-ins from his fellow legislators. I'm not so certain that his plan in the end will be the one that we adopt, but the idea of having a flatter tax code is one I think we're all in favor of. It. Republicans across the board want to see some form of tax cut, but are struggling how to implement it. In the state Senate, they are working on a proposal to create a flat tax. Everyone pays the same rate of three and a quarter percent. Theoretically, they have a great program. It's just not doable in this environment. The Democratic governor, he's on board with some tax cuts as well, but he says he wants them targeted to middle-class Wisconsinites. The bottom line for me always has been and, and will be, uh, we need to have an income tax cut for the middle class in the state of Wisconsin and not, um, uh, not, you know, not a flat tax. So all of these debates are happening outside the state budget. So it's possible that we could see a clean budget with these negotiations continuing after the budget deadline of July 1st.